This morning's GSLP Liberal press conference was the sixth since the election was announced this past Tuesday. The alliance has so far largely focused on its record over the 12 years it's been in government, with today's press conference on its policy regarding the UN. Fabian Picardo argued that Gibraltar is a colony until the UN agrees to delist it. I put it to him that Gibraltar did criticize the use of the term colony in a 2019 EU Brexit document. Well, when that happened, we made very clear to those who were complaining that we felt that it was important that we understand that in international law, we cannot argue that we are not a territory that is listed as one of the non-self-governing territories, the shorthand for which is colony. It's an acronym now, in effect, for those territories. So you've criticised uh, the position taken by Keith Asobardi um, in that uh, he said that he believes that Gibraltar is not a colony, um, but that he would still uh, attend the UN and argue that, that it isn't. Is it not possible to believe that Gibraltar has reached a level of self-government that would term it not effectively a colony, but you know, disagree with, with the fact that this has not yet been recognised in international law? Well, it's possible to take many permutations of the position, but it is not possible to take positions which are consistent with international law and then argue against them in the way that Mr. Sopaldi is doing, because I think what he is doing is legally flawed. Gibraltar is a colony in international law. We argue that we should go to the United Nations and say to them, because of the new constitution, we should be removed from your list or you should tell us what flaws the new constitution has in the context of us being removed from your list. Mr. Sopaldi doesn't say that. Mr. Sopaldi says we are not a colony. And so when you take a position like that, which is clearly contrary to the clear position in international law, the obvious retort from the C24 will be, well, if you're not a colony, what are you doing here? And why are you still on my list? For his part, Joseph Garcia said it's important to continue to work with the UN and with the UK to explore other potential statuses, citing the Channel Islands as an example from which Gibraltar could possibly learn. And Sir Joe Bossano emphasised the 31 years he's been going to the United Nations, saying that Gibraltar's position on the UN was one of the reasons he entered politics all the way back in 1964.